Right, I think I'm just going to have to go... Down. Over to this water. Well, I need my swimming gear on for a while. I can't manage that. Okay, that's not going to work. How do I get up there then? I have to climb up that one, don't I? Yeah, I, I should probably eat something because I'm a bit. I have got heaps of food. Yeah. Right, let's get over to that wall and then climb up. Uh, you think that's why Tears lets people build their own weapons of mass destruction revenge? <laughs> it's pretty amazing though, some of the stuff. It's, um, some, somebody created like a a ray to come down from high up or something. There's turrets everywhere. Yeah. A death ray type thing, wasn't it? He's going to spot me as soon as I peek over the top of this. Oh, look, there's two turrets there. Don't shoot me off. Crap. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to put my climbing gear on briefly. get up here quicker. Okay, we've got a turret over there. Is this where the other turret is? Oh, I can hide behind this bit. I can hide here, look. Right, let's put our better armour back on. Oh, that's the wrong sword. Let me get my master sword bucket.
Okay, so it must be over here somewhere. In fact, is this not... This is the building. Look, this is the building where the... I'm standing in... I'm standing in... That building up that's up to the right there. So I need down onto... Something. I need down below somewhere. Yeah, the gazebo built building, that's where I think this is. I think that's what this bit is. So, we need down onto... Uh, see the yeah let's have a look on the map and see where this bridge is I'm gonna hide down here just I wish I could zoom in so it must be that is it do you think it's the entrance way okay man away I uh, hope your work goes okay thanks for being here This definitely looks like the gazebo. Rivali's Gale is now ready. That tower over there. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Um, I mean, I would say this was the... You see a bridge between. And there's the main entrance, look. It would have to be a. It looks as though it's a bit lower down, doesn't it? Um, it's like a bridgey bit there. I have to watch for this guy spotting me. I might have to go and deal with him so we can actually take out this. Two bridges there just underneath a yellow bit. There's also what looks like a an entrance way there. I, I really want to go get rid of this guy. Um
Okay, it took him out. This also looks like it could be a gazebo, though, doesn't it? So there's, there's like a... Look, yeah. So it looks as though there's maybe two gazebos. Ah. Mm. It looks like two gazebos. This would be the building behind, but and there's the birdie up there. There seems to be more birdies around the other side than there is over here, doesn't there? So it's more likely around that way. Let's go have an explore over here. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet because I think is that not where Garnon is? Yeah that's probably where Garnon is right. I don't know, it just looks as though it's more like it's down there somewhere, doesn't it? That the picture was taken from. Where's that, um, I was trying to see where this flying thing was going. Just seeing if there's anything here that... We could just find this bit at the bottom in the middle. And we need two of the birdies behind. So I think we need to be further round that way, maybe. Looking back this way. Oh, I just spotted one of these things. Right, so we can get up through this road now. I think we should maybe head that way. I want to get this guy. Uh, oh, oh, I never saw him. to get this up thing. That would be the gazebo there, wouldn't it? Long range on their lasers. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to get in to the photo again. 
Right, see that peaky bit right above the door? There's like a the roof bit. There's a lot like a wooden lattice frame. I think that's maybe what's above the the main gate there. So I think we need to be further around. and I don't want to go into the middle. This is another gazebo. No, fell all the way back. I think that's the gazebo we need that he's sitting on. Um, Still looking for a couple of books. Cooking recipes, this could be one. Zelda's diary. Is this Zelda's room? Oh, right. After meeting with the champions, I left to research the ancient technology, but nothing of note came to my came of my research. The return of the Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. Yes, tomorrow my father is assigning him my appointed night. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to Divine Beast Var Rudania. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walked ahead. The feeling stayed with me for so long. I grew anxious and weary. It is the same feeling I felt before in his company, and still, not a word passes his lips. I never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he's thinking, but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family, yet unable to use sealing magic. He must despise me. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere. I was feeling depressed, and I told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does, and so I yelled at him without restraint. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty, and that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. I am unsure how to put today's events into words. Words so often evade me lately, and now more than ever. He saved me. Without a thought for his own life, he protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan. I have been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn. Still, he was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologise for all that has transpired between us. And then, I will try talking to him. To Link, it's worth a shot. Bit by bit, I've gotten Link to open up to me. 
It turns out he's quite a glutton. He can't resist a delicious meal. <laughs> when I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say, but he did. With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and to silently bear any burden. A feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him to stop when outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I always believed him to be simply a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems, I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and to see what lies beneath those calm waters, to hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I, too, will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. Father scolded me again today. He told me I am to have nothing more to do with researching ancient technology. He insisted that I focus instead on training that will help me awaken my sealing magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I have been training since I was a child, and yet, Mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not just a mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, all will be well in the end. You can do anything. But she was wrong. No matter how I try, or how much time passes, the sealing power that is my birthright evades me. Tomorrow I journey with Link to the spring of power to train, but this too will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, hallowed by blinding light. Or haloed, sorry. I sensed she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my power was awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I'm sure I will know the answer soon, whether I wished to or not. I turned 17 today. That means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Laranaru. The other champions will accompany us there. I have not seen my father since he last scolded me. Things are too strained now. I will meet with him when I return. Actually, I've had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. So was this Zelda's room then? Nothing else here. We can go through here then. Or we... well. No. Okay, we can't go through here. Princess Zelda's room. Right, of course we fell down, didn't we? There's a, there's a lot of these gazebo placey things though, look. That's another looking one there. The roof protection is now ready to roll. I have to get rid of them, won't I? There's another turret down there. I really need to get back up higher again. And I realise I'm going down lower, but no. This is a gazebo. Mm. 
And there's the bits up behind. But there's no like gateway going in. Unless that wall there, that wall con had continued round. Because it's demolished, isn't it? Because look below, there's like a doorway there, is there? Could it have been here? Uh, we've been here before, okay. Urbosa's fury is ready. This gazebo is just going to take ages to find, isn't it? And there's the birdies up there, look. I think it was down here somewhere. Oh, there's another tower. It's very hard to tell, isn't it? Where it would be. We we know the right rough area, but it's just getting them. Um, getting the camera angles right, isn't it? Quite sure. I found it. See, we've got the two, there's the two birdies there. It's definitely, it's, it's a round turret, isn't it? That's a round turret there. 
I wonder if it's on there, looking up to this one that's completely covered. I think we could climb that tower. How close to that tower can we get? This is not Zelda's room up underneath here. Yeah, that was Zelda's room. I wonder what's above here. Can I get up there? Mm, got that guy flying about everywhere. Can I get up here? Is that going to be impossible to get? So it's an overhang, isn't it? Mm, maybe if I go up this other wall. have to watch for that the guardian that's flying about as well. That's the only problem. Oh crap. Let's go in here and hide. <laughs> What's in here? Oh we're up above Zelda's room. Yeah that's Zelda's room down there. This guy's really getting annoying there. Oh, here it goes! We found it! That's it! Yep, that's it. Okay, I can score off the memory thing, we've done that. We've still got cookbooks, probably two bits of armour to find. We need to find the dining hall as well. I thought, oh, we found the dining hall, didn't we? I thought. Incredible. We're at a point now where we can actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. And should Ganon ever show itself again, we'll be well positioned to defend ourselves. What are you doing out here, Zelda? This is our father. I... I was assessing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. Let me ask you once more. When will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the Goddess- And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope, my hope is that you- that you allow me to contribute here, in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. And command you to focus on your training. He's a do bit you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves. That you are the heir to... Single-minded, isn't he? Nothing but failure. It is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? 
Yes, I understand. Okay, we need to go back and talk to um the one at the village I usually go to. Oh, what's this? Some concerns. Zelda's research journal, okay. <clears throat> I've probably got adverts coming up very shortly. When they do, I'll pause the game and I'll go and make some coffee. <laughs> uh, today I met with Impa, the Sheikah tribe, and began my research into the ancient technology in the earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Robi, other respected members of our tribe. Tomorrow I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the guidance stones. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control a guidance stone. It's a rectangular object, small enough to be held in two hands. Shika text is featured prominently on it. It's made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrines scattered across each region. Impa proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Shika Slate. We have not found any mention of a name of this for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pure insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate, as the relic is a slate made of the Sheikah tribe, by the Sheikah Slate. <laughs> you finally beat someone on Street Fighter 6 and they rage quit on you. <laughs> oh dear. I hope you still got your uh, whatever you get for, for defeating them. This is why I don't play games like that. <laughs> well done. Well done for beating them. Never play anything. Nope, still 0% win rate here. <laughs> That's dreadful, isn't it? So that win didn't count. That's dreadful. I mean, if, if people aren't willing to put up with losing now and again, they shouldn't play. <laughs> well, we know you've won, man. It's open beta. Beta? Okay. <laughs> Tell them that they're, if you'll have to put a report in saying that people, you should still get the win if somebody rage quits. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight. I thought I could win. We did it. We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah slate. We have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing images, perfect likenesses of the things you pointed at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of the Sheikah technology. Still, I know there is more to learn. There must be. We believe the slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research, and quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Arbosa and Rivale both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the rising calamity. Obi has restored mobility to many of the guardians we've excavated, but we still have yet to find all of the guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is, no matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and to only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat the Calamity. 
but the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? That is pure as theory, and I concur, and yet my experiments so far have been fruitless. Since we must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the Calamity, we must not give up, no matter what. I think I like about the lore written on notes in this game is that they drip feed it to you instead of handing over an entire essay in one sermon. Yeah, it's it's better when it's like this, otherwise you, it, you don't take it all in. I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is in fact a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against the Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full work and order. If you see too many texts in one note, you ignore it, yeah. I can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. Was it trying to shoot me through the window? How dare it. I think I need to teach this thing a, a lesson. Yeah, I went into the wrong screen there. I was, I was trying to get into here. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, we've got a draft, of course. Whoa. I wanted all my gears, thank you very much. Right, I need to go back and talk to Impa. Um, I should really go and do that. But I'm going to take out this turret. If I can't. No. Right, I'd need to use my birdie up there, wouldn't I? Okay, we are going to teleport out of here and go talk to Impa. It's massive, Kaiser. There's been quite a lot of secrets and things, and it's very. It's a bit difficult to navigate around it, know where you've been. It's a bit like a Dark Souls map, there's lots of shortcuts to unlock so you can get back to areas quicker. Um, which is quite nice. I need to go here. But yeah, I'm going to leave the, the the master trial until after I've done Ganon. Or if I can't manage Ganon, then I will go do it. I'm hoping to do that this weekend. I'm hoping. But you know what it's like. Things never go to plan. I'm not quite sure why I've got a woodcutter. Why have I got that set? Why have I got Woodcutter's Axe set? That's good. <laughs> Let's go grab my free apples. There we go. Oh, I've, got, I've got fruit I want to cook. Um, as well. Impa. 
Well, well, you've returned. What is it? Hmm? No, all 12 pictures already? You've visited every place? It's only oh. taken us like 170 hours. Hmm, then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. Here is what happened. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. Yeah. This is the final picture. I was sort of expecting my adverts to kick in. Does it look familiar? From this village you should be able to get there in a half day's time. Now go child, seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. Is that going to be in my... ...album? No, I have to take a photo of that, okay. What's that up there? I sort of vaguely re recognize that. I vaguely recognize where that is. There was a lot of them down here, but... I'm trying to think what that building is on the... Um, right, I need a cooking pot. Let me go... Um... Is there no cooking pot here? Because I can never find a cooking pot here. need a hint. See, uh, see, I think it's down here, but I'm probably wrong. Can you give me a hint? I'm warmer, am I? <laughs> Colder. <laughs> Up this way. I have to allow for the delay in the stream. <laughs> That's the stables. <laughs> it's not over here, is it somewhere? I can't figure out what this bit is on top of the... Okay, I've got adverts coming in. Yeah, I'm going to get my coffee and have a quick bio break and I will be right back. Okay, back again. Got my coffee. Right, I still think it's where I... I am... Um, I want to go where I was at. Because she said half a day's journey. And this... 
This area reminds me greatly. There was the stables there. This was the first place I came across the guardians. So I want to go down here and check this place out. I think it's down that way. Somewhere. Let me go to this shrine. Oh no, that's a that's a bit awkward shrine. Take that stream delay. <laughs> Okay, so we, it's probably it's down in the swamp somewhere. This was where we first got attacked by guardians. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go here. Oh. We found the first bit of the royal guard out um, armor. Um, I still got two bits to find. I think of that in the castle. We found a couple of the recipes, I think, that we needed to look for. Let's <laughs> get no lots on the go. <laughs> oh, the B and the A key being swapped around. How many hours have I played this? And I still hit those two the wrong way around. I think it... it yeah, it's, it's about a hundred and... It was 150 something last time I checked. I'm just going by how many episodes I've had to post up. Um, it's not just spell Zelda. I've got 164 episodes, one hour episodes up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's how long I've played it for. <laughs> Right, yeah, I think it's it's over here somewhere, isn't it? You ever think of doing YouTube shorts for your funny? I do. I post them up there. I I have been posting my funny clips up there, and they do get a lot of views. It's been really boosting my. My general, my overall viewership on YouTube. Yeah, seem, people seem to like them. Um, I do also post up on, I post the same ones up on TikTok usually as well. Right, I just need to figure out which angle this photo was taken. Can you stop? Stop! Stop, no lax. Whoa! <laughs> no lax is misbehaving. Right, I need to find where this glowy bit is. It, it must be around here. I might have to take the picture up again. Yeah, the new generation short attention span, yeah. Um, it seems that way, doesn't it? Let me get the photo back up again. Right, we've got a pillar standing up. And we've got a, a dip in the hills just right ahead there. I need to look for this pillar. Oh, there's a lot of pillars here. Here's a pillar that looks like it, doesn't it? like that pillar. If 
But there is quite a lot of pillars. One hour videos are a huge commitment. <laughs> well, see, I used to do half hour videos when I was doing Dwarf Fortress. But how many... Of, I, what was... Um, because my fortress has lasted so long. Um, where are we? There was it was so many episodes and I was like months ahead, bef months behind them going up on YouTube. So I ended up putting them, changing them to one hour episodes as well. Where's my dwarf fortress gone? Three hundred and sixty-one episodes for one dwarf fortress. Fortress. Yeah, they they like. It's, I think it's 15 minutes is the is what they really like 20 minutes is about average um, yeah that was a very long running fortress <laughs> well this guy's still alive is he not anymore <laughs> no, I didn't cut anything. I just posted it all up. I cut out any bits where I'm away from the keyboard. But apart from that, it goes up as as it was done. Ah! There. Uh -huh. Maybe we're on the right track here. This was my... where's the... That was the... that was the playlist. It's over this way somewhere, isn't it? Could it be this way? Yeah, probably slept. I could... Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. Let's see what happened here. We do have our Coric mask we can put on to find them. Much faster, okay. <laughs> I think this this area stuck in my mind quite a lot because it was the first place I I had the guardians. Go. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Run. 